these pole girls, they have a lot of upper body strength. For those of you who think it's just a silly little dance thing, it is a whole, it's basically vertical calisthenics. Welcome back to another vlog. I wanted to chat a little bit about my morning routine. So now that we've gone through the whole morning routine bit, I'm actually going to spend the next few hours doing some coaching with some of my clients. I'm also gonna put some laundry away today as well. It's kind of feeling like a chores slash work slash being productive type of day. So now you wanna be part of my vlog. Well, yeah, well, I just went downstairs to get a fancy little drink. And, and then, then locked me out of the room. Because I was recording. Luke is home from work. Just for like a little bit. Alright, I've been doing a lot of work and getting back to messages and stuff this morning, but we have some guests who are about to leave. And so I'm gonna go say goodbye to them. <laughs> okay, so. Fun fact, I bought myself a stage pole, which is like those outdoor pole dancing poles because pole is something that I have actually really loved to do. I took a few classes last year and realized that the schedule at the studio wasn't really working out for me. I just needed to prioritize a few things and unfortunately an extracurricular like pole just wasn't it, especially with all of my wedding planning. And so I decided to give myself a pause, just go lift weights at the gym really quick so that I could build more upper body muscle. So when I come back to pole, when I actually am able to buy one and I have the space for one, then I would be a lot stronger. The time has come. I obviously have the pole right now. It's right here, I'll show you. I've had it for a week um, and it's basically lived out here on the deck, but the, it's just so hot that I can only practice really, really early in the morning or later at night. Basically, I've had it out on this deck. So another caveat about this deck is that it's only connected to the guest room, which is upstairs. And for the past week, as you saw, my parents had guests over who were staying in the guest room. So I couldn't just hop through their room at six in the morning and be like, hey, I'm gonna go spin on a pole really quick and like blast my music. So they left today and I wanna spin on my pole, but it's out here and it's super hot. So what I'm gonna do now, well, what I was gonna do is take it apart and bring it downstairs and then put it together and use it. But I realized that I have a meeting. So I'm actually gonna have that meeting first. Oh, which... it's a nice and sunny day. Yeah, it's just been pretty peaceful. I just finished up my meeting with Maya, who is one of my amazing friends. I actually met her at my last retreat. She is one of the owners of the retreat center that I'm hosting this retreat in and it was the same one that I hosted the last retreat in and she and I just clicked. She's such an amazing human being. She's one of those people where when I see her, I just have tears of joy because she's just so beautiful. I'm sure you know some people like that. Hopefully you do because all of us deserve to have someone like that. But we just finished the meeting. It's just going to be such an amazing retreat. That being said, my lips are so dry. I'm very thirsty. I'm going to go get some water, rehydrate, and then go back to my project of setting up my stage pole. I'm actually feeling like having a plum right now instead of drinking a bunch of water. I think it's also just because I got kind of hungry, so... actually very heavy so my biceps have already been worked really well my mom came home so now she's just gonna watch me set up my stage pole in the middle of the living room hi huh, mom as you can see i have built the base and i am sweating and it's just so hot and you know the whole time i was just thinking to myself I can do hard things. That was my mantra. I can do hard things. And I kept telling myself, this is so worth it. For one hour of being able to spin in air conditioning, I think it's worth it. You might be wondering, why don't I have one of those poles that just go from this, like it attaches to the ceiling. <sighs> None of the rooms in this house really fit that. They're either too small or there's a ceiling fan attached to the middle of the room. So 
we are set up. This was so unnecessary. <laughs> Be honest this pole this pole thing is way harder than it looks and I'm so glad that I bought my own because I just get to practice anywhere but I have been for the past Alexa off I have been working on conditioning my skills and it's already been an hour so I gave myself an hour to play around I'm really behind on lunch so I need to go eat lunch and finish up my work but I just wanted to say that I literally have been doing this the entire time, or some variation of it. Just, just to build up my skills, you know? I'm a girl with some sweaty palms. I don't hold on to the pole that long. And my upper body strength is, it's better than when I first tried out pole, but definitely need to continue working on this. I'm gonna have very big biceps, maybe. Maybe just very strong ones um, at the end of this, but these pole girls, they have a lot of upper body strength that we don't even realize or maybe we do because you've tried it before but for those of you who think it's just a silly little dance thing it is a whole it's basically vertical calisthenics we have some lemon pepper tofu some lentils and some greens. And that's literally it. That is my lunch. <laughs> she watched me lug it all downstairs. She was like, oh. Well, actually this morning she was like, next time you're up there and you do your sexy dance, can you water my plants? <laughs> like mom, <laughs> I'm taking it down after I eat. Can you help me bring it up? <laughs> but you're so much stronger than me. <laughs> I have enlisted Luke, who's gonna help me. <laughs> going to air fry some asparagus. We just got this air fryer yesterday because our other one broke. We're really excited for this new one to make my asparagus. And I'm also making some textured vegetable protein and then I'm going to chop up some mushrooms and just saute them. And we're gonna eat it with some brown rice, maybe some lentils because I have a lot of lentils left over. And All right, it is dinner time. And I'm just gonna show you what this looks like before I put the nutritional yeast and the tahini on there. So there's rice and lentils underneath. We have some textured vegetable protein with a taco seasoning sauce. And then we have some mushrooms and tomatoes in there, as well as some air fried asparagus. And then I'm gonna add on top some tahini and nutritional yeast. All right guys, so I'm taking Kiara on a walk right now. We just finished eating dinner and cleaned up. Luke is hanging back because he just had a long day and he's tired. So I'm going to enjoy my evening walk with Kiara. We've been coming in the evenings because it's just been so hot in, in the mornings. I've just liked cooling off in the evening and having a nice dig digestion walk with her. And so now I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this walk with a podcast. I really wanted to eat a ginger chew, <laughs> so I have a ginger chew. I love ginger chews, they're so good. I wish they didn't stick to my teeth so easily, but they're delicious. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful morning, noon, day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.